Believe it or not, I have been accused of never talking about Microsoft Windows. Uh, that's kind of a lie. Well, not my lie. It's someone else's illusion of me and my history with computing and software and hardware and, you know, the whole gamut. So, apparently, there's just not a lot of interesting Windows software out there anymore. I mean, maybe there is, but you're just not telling me. And I'm not you know, looking for it because a lot of the Windows software that I see is anti-spyware and anti-virus and, and, you know, junk, generally speaking. There are very few really cool programs on Windows these days. Do you think I'm wrong? Well, let me know. Maybe you know of a, a program that's available for Windows or any platform. Email it to me. I mean, not the actual program, a link to where I can find the program or at least look at it. My email address is chris at perillo.com. I have to thank Amen250 because instead of complaining, instead of saying, Chris, you never talk about Windows software anymore. It's not fair. You only talk about the Mac stuff. It's not fair. I don't know. Because some, some of you guys do that. Believe it or not, I get emails like it. <laughs> what you talking about? Windows and, and Windows. There's free stuff available for for, for Windows too. <laughs> and if you think that's dramatic, you should see some of the emails I get. No, instead of that, instead of instead of complaining, Amen Two Fifty sent me a link to this Picto Mio. This happens to be more than just a digital photo manager. It happens to be a, a full-on suite of tools to help you more effectively, well, clean up and organize not just your digital photos, but your videos as well. You could think of this as kind of like uh, the way Picasa should be. And I mean that in the nicest way. I've been using Picasa for years on Windows, and of course now Google acquired Picasa. They ported it to uh, Linux. I hope to see a Mac version of that sooner rather than later. But Picasa has kind of fallen flat, uh, I, I'll tell you. I mean, the effects that Picasa had in the beginning were great. They were awesome. I loved them. But then they just kind of stopped developing it, really. I mean, it's just stagnant. So along comes Pictomeo, a free utility for Windows only. Mm-hmm. You like that? You like that? Hopefully that is going to make you stop crying to me, telling me I don't listen to in Windows software like that. Because this is cool. This is just, it's its one of those things that once you start using it, um, I'd be surprised if you didn't replace your current digital photo management tool, if you have one. Because admittedly, most of them stink. Picasso's a good one. Pictomeo, I would say is just a little bit better. Because it fully takes advantage of that graphics card you have in your system. That's right, it's 3D accelerated. And if you can't tell all these digital effects going on, here's a part of the demo where they show you, you can actually flip a video. Yeah, you can flip a video if you've always wanted to do that. Maybe you took the video upside down or something, you had no easier way of doing it. You can do it in Picto Mio. It looks good. It looks like it belongs on your desktop. And that's the way you want software to be. Picasso is still good. And the nice thing about Pictomeo is you could have it on the same computer that you have Picasso on. Because remember, your photos and your videos don't live in this program. This is just a program to help you organize and clean up and, and do other things with your media. So your media sits on your hard drive. The programs sit on your hard drive and they can access the same media. See how that works? It took me forever to explain that concept to both my parents and my wife. For some reason, they thought the photos lived inside the program. No, 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 not in any operating system is that an, an absolute reality, at least with good software. The digital photos live separate from the program. The program just helps you work with your files. Okay, we got that clear? So, don't give me any guff. If you even know what guff is, and if you have any, keep it to yourself. The one thing I do not need is any more guff. And instead of, <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about, we ain't gonna talk about Windows stuff. You have to pass me these links. You have to let me know what you're finding, folks. 
How else am I going to let everybody else know? Unless I find it myself. I didn't know about this. Thank you, Eamon250. And if I sound a little excitable, it's because I am. I, I don't take offense to people who think that I'm one way or another, but, you know, I'm a cross-platform kind of guy. I like software no matter what the platform is. You know that. At least those of you who know me know that. Maybe you're a know me. I don't know. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of another program, utility, tool, whatever, that nobody else has heard of or very few people have heard of but should hear about. I mean, something that looks good, something that runs well, something that's clean. It's a good experience. I'm not looking for stupid piddly, eh, this looks like, you know, we're not looking for things that look like that. Okay? Okay? Do I, do I really have to, and just in case you're wondering, here's my dog's head. Thank you, Pixie. Needed that as an example. Whew. What the hell you been eating? Lay off those beef burgers. Damn. You've got my email address, and hopefully by now you've figured out where we're chatting. See, because the chat room's going here in the videos. You, you see the chat? These are real people. Live people. And if I ask them, let me just show you. We've got a wide variety of geeks in our chat room. Hey, geeks in the chat room, uh, what uh, operating system are you running right now? We're just going to do an Insta poll, just, just so I can prove my point, okay, that I just don't care what operating system you're running, and I'm not going to pass judgment on you. Let's see here. OS 10, XP Pro, Windows XP, Vista, Mac OS 10, Linux, and Mac OS 10, Linux Mint, Vista, Mac OS 10, PC BSD, Mac, Speak and Learn, Waves, Ubuntu. Waves? Oh, never mind. You guys get, you, you catch my drift? You getting me? You feeling me? Right? We don't care. And anybody who would admonish someone else for their operating system that they're using, their choice of an operating system, is not a geek. They're a loser. Le who the her. So you can call me a loser all day long for my operating system choice. I don't care. Because I already know that I don't care. My name's Rubber. Your name's Glue. Anything you say to me bounces off and sticks. You fool me, you can't get fooled again. There. Pixie, give me your butt. Give me your butt. Come here. Where'd she go? Oh, sh anyway, you're welcome to stop by anytime, day or night. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.